In this video, I'm gonna talk about one of my absolute favorite patterns, especially if you like holding stocks overnight. What's up, Tim Sykes, millionaire mentor and trader here in Miami, enjoying this beautiful day, driving around in my role, seeing friends and family where, frankly, I haven't been around uh, for several months, so I'm, I'm playing a little catch up here. We got the siren going off. This is your daily wake up call. This is your wake up call. Are you studying? I didn't plan that, but I'm just, I'm going with it. Um, in this video, I wanna talk about one of my favorite patterns, which is an overnight pattern. A lot of you guys message me saying, uh, you know, you don't like, you know, trading so fast in a few minutes or a few hours intraday, you prefer holding overnight. Leave a comment below. Um, do you like uh, over holding overnight or maybe many nights, or do you like intraday? Um, there's no one right answer. You know, you choose what works best for you. But I'm curious, how many day, like true day traders, like a true day trader does not hold positions overnight. Um, and I know that works for some people. I know a lot of people who think that, you know, it's crazy to just hold stocks for a few minutes or a few hours. And they like holding stocks uh, overnight and for several days. You tell me, which one are you? And, and maybe you could be a mix. There's no, there's no one right answer. I wanna be really clear about that. Um, but for me, buying a first green day on an OTC, former runner, supernova with big volume, ideally a catalyst, and breaking out near its highs or to all time new highs. That is one of my favorite patterns. Um, I know that's a lot of indicators, but I'm, I'm picturing it, like I'm visualizing it um, because I've seen it so many times before, whether it's a, a Bitcoin stock or a weed stock. Um, part of the reason why I love OTCs, and I know several of my top students love OTCs, Michael Good, Tim Gratani, Mike Huddy. We all love buying, um, you know, strong first green days. Um, and what is a strong first green day? It's not just like the candle of the chart is green, like it finishes up. I want something big. I want like, you know, a, a big piece of news. Um, big volume, ideally a big percent gain, so that it pops up on a lot of people's radars. Um, OTCs are very uh, kind of underfollowed on Wall Street. Uh, they're underutilized by traders. A lot of brokers don't even allow you to trade OTCs. Um, and all of that creates an inefficiency that creates, I think, a lot of opportunity. They don't trade pre-market. So if uh, you have a lot of buyers at the market open at 9.30 a.m. Eastern, frankly, all of the buyers pile up um, trying to buy because you know people who buy based on uh, you know news they're not very sophisticated so they just put in all their buy orders a lot of people use market orders uh, thank you Robin Hood for having so many people use uh, market orders and screwing them on executions so all of the Robin Hood majority uh, market orders are placed at the open and that creates these nice gap ups uh, from the previous close in OTCs you might remember if you read my book an American hedge fund which I'll link just below this video. Um, one of my first patterns, actually my first pattern that made me nearly a million dollars was buying penny stock breakouts into the close, selling the next day um, at or near the market open into the gap up. Sometimes they were morning spike too. Um, my first $100,000 profit on ISCO uh, was an OTC runner and it did not trade pre-market and the stock gapped up big time and I made over $100,000 as a freshman uh, in college. So you want all of those buy orders to pile up. If you're trading NASDAQ, if you're trading other exchanges, there's gonna be pre-market trading back and forth. Uh, some people will be able to buy, some people will be able to sell. You're not gonna have that pile up effect. I want that pile up effect. I want that inefficiency. So well, I know some of you guys message me like, oh, more people should like penny stocks, more people should respect you, more people should like OTCs. Shh, don't tell them. Okay, I don't want the word to get out. I'm sharing this with you because I want you to have the advantage that my top students and I have had all these years. Trading these hated upon inefficient stocks when they have the right pattern. Again, I want them to have, you know, good volume, 
you know, one, one risk here with OTCs is what if there is no gap up? What if you're just trading a stock that's up a lot and there's not a lot of volume? It's very tough to get out of too. So you want actively traded OTCs, ideally some news, ideally a big 10, 15, 20, maybe 30% gain the previous day. Um, ideally the OTC that you're buying is a former runner. So it's spiked big in the past. That uh, kind of alerts traders to the fact that it's running again. And so they're more likely to buy the next day. Um, you want it to be a former runner, like a former supernova in the past, because it also scares short sellers away. So if a stock is up big one day, if it's a NASDAQ, especially a lot of these crappy biotechs, the short sellers just pile in on day two. Um, if it's a former supernova, the shorts kind of take a step back and they say, whoa, I, you know, I don't want a short right away. So you're using a lot of these indicators that I teach in my trader checklist guide and in the complete penny stock course, which is another book that you should read. Click the links just below. I'm going to include a bunch of links that you should be studying. Studying the past is key. Um, when you see like what you can do with these OTCs, even though the whole world hates on it, I'll give you example after example after example of stocks that have uh, benefited from this simple pattern and students who use this simple pattern too. Leave a comment just below. Let me know what you think. Hey, Tim Sykes, Millionaire Mentor and Trader. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope that they help you. I want to share everything that I've learned over the years. You can check out more videos right over there. And also click subscribe so that you can watch all of these videos, get that knowledge, and become my next millionaire student.